All right, everybody. We're here with another draft breakdown with one of our good friends, Handy. Over Pokemon get... Association. There we go. Yeah, it, I think I've heard that it's the first Wi-Fi Ubers league of the season. I could be wrong. That's what I've heard. But if you haven't, you haven't gotten with it yet. We've changed our names to the Pripyat Persians here. And I'm going to show you what we drafted in this one. We started off with Palkia Origin. Water Dragon type. You don't see that very often. Spatial Rend and Lustrous Orb. Great special coverage and bulk up and scale shot. Which I thought was cool for a Pokemon like this to have. For our Ubers, we could only grab 50 points worth of Ubers, I believe. So... I grabbed yeah, essentially like the Remac. priciest one. But, uh, yeah. 150 special attack with a 100 base power dragon move. I'm going to be clicking that a lot. And it, it's a legendary. It gets earth power and ice beam and stuff like that. Ancient power. Yeah, it gets people, uh, blizzard. Like, its move pool is insane. Yeah, I, the thing that's really just, the bulk up and scale shot when I was looking through the moves, I mean, that is just weird. It's weird, but like, its attack is good enough where you might be able to use it to speed up and whatnot, so, might have to pull that out. 120 speed on Pokemon that's 90, 100, 120. <laughs> 680, yeah, I mean, it's just crazy. The only thing is you can't you can't use a different like item on it or anything, but that's fine. I got I covered those bases with my other mons here. We got Sogaleo. Psychic Steel. Bulky and hits like a truck. It's my second Uber 22 points. So you don't have to go to 50 for the Ubers I found. You just uh you gotta get under 50. So I grabbed two the high 20s mons here. Just kinda Averaged my bulk and uh, efficiency here. Grabbed an attacker with big health, and uh, he's gonna help against those fairy types that might be coming in and trying to screw with my Palkia there. Resist the freeze dry dragon and fairy. So that that freeze dry is uh, I was worried about that with Palkia. You bring freeze dry, I mean I just can't even bring Palkia. So I was trying to find something big that can break that, and that's what I found here in Sogaleo. Great physical bulk and HP, Sun Seal Strike, and stats can't be lowered with its ability. It's like super heavy metal, something like that. Its stats just can't be lowered, which was cool. I didn't find that out until I was kind of looking at its moves. But yeah, very solid stats, very solid move pool and defenses for my other Uber. Yeah, Sogaleo is such a good pick. I think it's, I think 22 points is kind of cheap for Sogaleo, not gonna I lie. did too. I, I would have paid 25. I would have. I would have. Oh, you're gonna bring out the expanding force set? I, I mean, I could. I just don't know what uh, what mod I would set up the psychic terrain with. That's the thing. I mean, I could use it, but psychic terrain is always so hard to click. Trying to set it yeah. up like that. Yeah. All right, number three, we got Barrasquita for eleven. We're out of the Ubers. I decided to get my Ubers out of the way right away, and I started going for Terra Captains here. That's what this. That's what this pick is all about. Attack 123, speed 136. This thing is fast. It's just literally a torpedo. Just a missile. Swift Swimmer, great attack and speed, and it's the Terra Captain. I can pick anything I want. So I'm putting Terra Blast on this thing, and I am going to be blasting things, most likely. I mean, there's really not much else to say about this mod. That's just... Yeah. The, the strategy for the pick is really it. It's, really, it's a really good Terra Captain since it's so fast. And that's, that's it. It's the highest uh, points that a Terra Captain can be as well. I was looking through that uh, category pretty early on in the draft, and I was thinking, you know, this is probably one of the higher picks. It was either this or Lucario, and I didn't want to deal with the ground weakness, so I decided just to go Bear Skeeter. All right. We got Quagsire for the fourth pick here. You know, I never have used Quagsire. Its stats aren't that crazy. It's just that its immunities... And its utility is what makes it just absurd. And as a Terra Captain, which you know, at this point in the draft, that's what I'm looking for. As a Terra Captain, you can do a lot with uh, Water Absorb, you know? Do some weird stuff with that. Fire, Grass can be pretty good too, also resist the Grass. 
But uh, yeah, four times to grass isn't that bad. Especially in Ubers. A lot, a lot of the Ubers are dragons. So you, you kind of want some water types, stuff like that. It also has Unaware, which I didn't really... You know, I've never really used an Unaware Mon, I don't think. I've only ever faced them, so I didn't really understand the utility of that either until I started looking at his moves and I was like, oh, it doesn't need crazy stats if it just doesn't care about the, <laughs> the boosts. So, yeah. I'm kind of jealous that you were able to get um, both your Terra Captains at the cap at 19 points. Yep. I was not able to do that. It's because I picked him early. I, that was the strategy I had. I said I was going for Ubers, and then I was going to pick my Terra Captains so I could get the first pick of both of those categories and just deal with whatever comes next. As you see, I have a lot of water types, so we had to deal with that around the, the end of the draft here. So we got a Namorous, you know, Fairy Flying. I mean, I needed a Fairy type here, and I always love to have the ground immunity as well. So we needed that Fairy type for the Dragon immunity, I mean... I got my dragon type and I kind of want to, you know, bring it every week if I can, so any way that I can be able to bring that I want to do. I love the contrary on this thing too. The superpower contrary is so cool. I want to be using that sometime this season. And uh, yeah, obviously it's an uber dragon counter. Yeah, Namorous is just such a good pick. I really um, haven't used this mod either. I also like it in BGC a lot too, but... I don't. I haven't played a lot of that. I almost exclusively have played draft and like casual Pokemon games. Yeah, so I really don't get to use Pokemon that aren't on my draft teams. You see me using these things for legitimately like the first time ever. If I'm not facing it, I'm not playing against it, and I don't really know a lot about stuff like that. It's definitely one of my weak points, I would say, but it makes it more fun in my opinion. Honestly. All right. We got Latias. Latias got some crazy buffs, you know? It's finally here, finally reached the Wi-Fi scene. Lustrous Purge, Levitate, Combine Setup. You know you know me, I love my uh, my ground immunities. And if I can get that off of something that's not a flying type, I, I tend to do that. I mean, if you've ever watched any of my videos, I draft Weezing Galar like every single trap just because of it. So I decided to go for the Dragon Psychic this time and get rid of all the ground but yeah i mean you, you strap choice scarf on this thing it's just going to be blasting things like i'm i'm glad you think the same way like whenever i'm drafting i think it's necessary to get one flying type and then one levitate mod like it's a must for me yeah i hate ground man the ground like they the moves always hit so hard and they really break cores and like you know fire and steel and stuff like that it's just it's just tough but yeah, he's got Levitate, and he's going to be flying around and blasting things. 130 special attack? Like, come on. That is fire. So strong. Alright, we got Hitmon top here. I've been trying to draft this Mon for like the past two drafts I've had, and I keep getting sniped on it, and I finally got it. So we are going to be using the Rapid Spin and the Triple Axle. Every, like, just quick Triple Axle is going to be so cool. Especially on all these Dragon types. I mean, I couldn't really find an ice type that I liked, but I found a lot of Pokemon that like to use ice moves, like in these water types and things like that. It's also got Technician and Intimidate, so you can do a couple of weird things with Technician, but uh, most of the time I feel like I'm going to use Intimidate and switch it around, get those boosts downwards, hope that it works out. Upper Hand is new, and it's my Dark Resist that I so desperately needed at this point in the draft for drafting two Psychic types. So, I mean, special defense is pretty high, defense is pretty high, so most of the dark attacks are probably going to be physical, like knockoff type things, but uh, upper hand is a new cool move, that uh, Pryo's Pryo type of deal, you know what I mean? That is a cool move. Um, I don't even know what upper hand is, I'm looking it up right now. At base 65, the user reacts to the target movement and strikes the bomb. Hmm, okay. That is Very actually cool. really cool. Yeah, they added um, it to a couple of months. Also, I like the fact that people are going to have to, on their fairy types, calc out the Technician Bullet Punch. Yup. I, yeah, the people are going to be trying to counter all the dragons. I mean, it's kind of, <clears throat> you want the Steel type, you want the Fairy type, and you want the dragons, like, for that core. 
but people are going to desperately be trying to counter that core specifically because it's so strong in Ubers. All the Ubers are those types. We are Garganackle. Another Mon that I have never used. I really, going through this draft, I don't think I've used any of these Mons. So we got the Body Press Tank, obviously. Salt Cure and Purifying Salt. Purifying Salt is cool. Where, uh, comes in, just can't be poisoned or slept or paralyzed. That's cool. Salt Cure. I've, I had this on my team while I was playing Scarlet and Violet. And I didn't realize how good Salt Cure actually was until someone was using it against me. And I switched into it. And I was like, oh my god, this thing is crazy. And it rocks. I mean, this thing just sets up rocks as well. Defense, absolutely crazy. I mean, I kind of needed this. So, yeah. He fits a couple of good little uh, niches on my team. Hey, the real nice wall. Super good wall, yeah. We got a Lolan Muck. Man, this one, I love the design of this Mon. I think it's actually better than original Mon. I really, I really 100%. like this. So, its attack is so much higher than I thought it was. Like, this thing actually kind of hits. And with Poison Touch, I, things just don't want to switch into it. You're going to need to bring the Steel type. And you're just going to need to play around it that way. I think that's really the only way to do it. And if you do that, I'm going to start Drain Punching. Like, this thing is really cool. Desperately needed the Ghost and Dark Resist for my two Psychic types as well. Knock Off and Grounded Poison to suck up those Toxic Spikes. Uh, yeah, fits a very important niche in this team. We got a Raquanid. Another Mon, man. I'm saying it. I'm saying it again. Another Mon that is so cool that I've never used. It's got Sticky Webs, which I kind of wanted to target like during the draft I wanted to find a sticky webs user that I could find because I mean a lot of these really good Pokemon are also really fast and if I can at least cut those down to get within choice scarf range of something unexpected I, I, I would like to do that it's honestly got really good special defense as well so I can resist the dragon type stuff but uh Water Bubble, Water Absorb, and again, I got two Water Absorb Pokemon, not on purpose, but I actually like Water Bubble a lot as well. Gives good stab. Uh, and yeah, I said Special Defense Tank, put Assault Vest on this thing, and uh, it's going to be fun. Nine um, points, nine points. And that's a, nine points is actually pretty good for a Raccoon. Yeah, it I is. Think. Uh, are, we, are we here for the Power Split sets? I haven't I haven't seen sets like that yet. I really haven't delved too deep. I, I've been doing my research on the Pokemon I've drafted. Usually I will do my research after I draft <laughs> and be like, okay, so this is what I have. What is really good with them? I've been seeing a couple of uh, interesting sets. Most of them sticky webs based. And then you use a couple of power up moves and uh, hit them with water. So hopefully I'm facing teams with a lot of... Uh, non-water resisting mons and I can just kind of smash through them with this thing. What does power split do? I should ask that. Um, power split. The user employs its psychic power to average its attack and special attack stats with those of the target. Oh, wow. I'll have to, I'll have to slide that in there at some point. Okay. Okay. Yep. The one pointer. We have Pachirisu, which in my opinion, on the board, is the best one-pointer. It comes with a Volt Absorb, Super Fang, U-Turn, and Encore. That is great utility. With 95 speed, this thing could really make or break a matchup. If someone's spamming electric types, this thing comes in, it's just going to suck it all down. It does not care. Looks like I can't bring Reggie a lucky against you, huh? It, that's what I'm saying, man. I will suck it all down. I will bring Pachirisu. Don't think I won't. <laughs> all right. I think that, yeah, that's the last of the draft here. Let's give a quick description of what this is all about. Paldia Dex Uber's Wi-Fi, I believe, from what I'm hearing, is the first of its kind so far. And it's also the first Super Bench Wi-Fi team. I'm learning how to get into Wi-Fi, folks. I am going to be 
having my hands held the entire time. Because I know almost nothing about it, I've just only watched it. So, you will be learning with me. Not that bad at the moment. <laughs> Any final words? No, I'm, really, I'm gonna be enjoying this league. Uh, I'm also my first Wi-Fi league. Also my oh, first really? Uber's league, so it's gonna be fun. This is my second Uber's league, if you'd believe it. Uh, the second league I ever played in was an Uber's league. <laughs> That was a lot of fun, actually. And I drafted Dialga Origin in that one, so. I wanted to go for Palkia. Yeah, I, it's, I'm telling you, if it serves, you know, the direction it's going, I probably will. But uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.